We're here to talk about public pension reform, historic public pension reform that applies to school teachers and state employees. With us, State Representative Mike Tobash of the 125th District in Schuylkill and Dolphin Counties, and his education policy advisor, Dr. Allie Hobbs, a former teacher herself. Let me ask you first, Representative, why is this significant? Why is it unique? And why is it the best proposal at this point in time? It's Pennsylvania's number one challenge. We find ourselves 50 or $60 billion underfunded in these pension systems that are really uh, an important element of what people are counting on right now who are working in the public sector and, and who have retired. So with this massive amount of debt, it's affecting everything else we do. It's historic because we made a vote the other day in the House of Representatives that would shrink down the plan that we have not been able to manage and introduce a mandatory 401k style plan that the private sector is very familiar with that is great for a future and modern workforce. We are only affecting future employees in the Commonwealth. We are saving over $5 billion of dollars in this move, so it will help us keep the, the, the promises that we have made to those existing employees. Most of us are not experts in public pensions. What exactly is a uh, stacked hybrid plan? So, so we, right now we have a, a, a pension system that most people think of, a retirement program that guarantees people a monthly income in retirement. Uh, what this plan does, it combines that type of a plan with what is people are familiar with in the private sector, a 401k type plan. So it gives people what I call some security and optimism. It gives them the ability to take control of some of their retirement planning, pay them at the time of service, put an account uh, put money into an account that will be theirs, that will be portable and transferable, which is very important for modern workers. Okay, and why is this important right now? We're just days away from a budget deadline. The more we continue to go down this path of not addressing this challenge, the worse the future of the Commonwealth looks like. So we've got a budget deadline of June 30th. Our ability to pass meaningful pension reform uh, right now is extremely important. It will shore up our predictability moving forward in the Commonwealth. Now, within this plan, there's no immediate savings. In other words, this plan will not deliver savings in this year's budget, but it will make certain that future budgets are far more predictable and easier to settle. We didn't get in this problem overnight. We're not going to get out of the problem overnight, but this is a major monumental step. There's been some criticisms on that basis that it doesn't save enough. How do you respond to those? Well, I mean, first of all, uh, my colleague, uh, many of my colleagues say, look, we don't get an opportunity every day uh, in the walls of this building to make a vote that will save taxpayers over $5 billion. It, it's, a, it's a huge step. So there's absolutely savings within this plan. But even more importantly, what we do, and we talk about this underfunding, the fact that the state hadn't been making its payments for a number of years, this speeds up the payment. So all the savings that are realized in this plan are required to go back into, this, into those accounts and shore up our underfunding, the debt that we've accumulated. So from the school district perspective, how does this plan put more dollars into the classroom. For every hundred dollars that we have in payroll to state and school district employees, we need to put about thirty dollars into the pension systems. Okay, that the fact that that amount is so much higher than what it is in other business sectors in the private sector uh, is causing us not to be able to adequately fund our school districts and many other things that that uh, our citizens count on. Dr. Hobbs, uh, as a former educator, uh, how can public pension reform help schools? Well, first and foremost, due to the public pension reform, every cent not spent on pension costs can be spent on learning and teacher teaching in Pennsylvania schools. So the more funds and money will be there to keep class size into a reasonable number and to also help keep curriculum up to date and innovative. Furthermore, this plan protects the benefits of current teachers and retired teachers. It gives security that when those teachers need their retirement in the future, it will be there for them. And so this plan does not at all touch current or retired teachers. And, and thirdly, the, this innovation plan keeps the best part of the plan that's currently in place, but gives a modern edge to um, the plan for modern workers. It has flexibility and portability so that as teachers move throughout their career, they have more freedom um, to follow their teaching plans and the work that they do. So I think it helps not just um, funding for 
current and retired teachers, but it helps current teachers do the best work they could do for Pennsylvania students. Tom, there's been some misinformation about out there, and, and what it kind of surrounds this concept that somehow changing retirement benefit for future employees in the Commonwealth is bad for existing employees. And we need to dispel that myth. The fact of the matter is, if we've got a plan right now that costs $10 a day, and we switch to a plan that costs $9 a day, that extra dollar will help us Keep, make, keep the commitment that we've made to those existing employees and retirees that are in the current plan. So many of my colleagues say the plan that we've developed right here is the best of both of these plans. It gives you the flexibility of a 401k type plan and the portability, and it takes the best features of the, of the pension plan that had been in place over the last number of years. It isn't uh, improving the situation immediately going to be helpful to future teachers in terms of providing jobs that might not otherwise be there. We've got many young people in college right now that will, will graduate with a degree and they would like to be a teacher in Pennsylvania, but they'll never reach those classrooms because many schools are not replacing their teaching workforce because they're having difficulty meeting current budget constraints and this will assist in that. So Dr. Hobbs, future teachers are going to be provided for with this plan in your opinion? Yes, there are many school districts right now that are not filling retired positions within schools. This reform will give more money that schools can consider that and more young, innovative teachers that are um, excited and willing to get into Pennsylvania's classrooms can have jobs in the future. We all want adequate education funding. And our biggest challenge right now is this public retirement system. And we've got a plan that stands right now, huge bipartisan support. It's, it's in a position that uh, the Senate can act on it. If they can concur on it uh, and get it to the governor's desk, it will be landmark historic legislation that will make the future of Pennsylvania far, far brighter. And we're urging them to get that done uh, at this time. It's, it's crucial. Thank you, Representative Tobin. And thank you, Dr. Hall. Thank you.